Hey guys, so I wanna do a quick speed test here between iOS 9 beta on the iPhone 6 versus Android M developer preview, uh, the latest version of Android on the Nexus 6. So both have a beta, iOS 9 beta and Android M, latest version of Android beta and latest version of iOS beta. So let's start them up here and kinda of see here in speed. Let's uh, go. Okay, uh, we get the um, boot, <laughs> the boot. Really much. Whoa, whoa, that's nice. Usually I don't see iOS be that fast, but damn, he was actually performing really, really well there. So let's take a look here at uh, these two different versions. So uh, you both can uh, swipe here to the left side, but here you get search and spotlight uh, suggestions. Uh, you kind of get the same thing with Google here though, because they have this uh, Google Now. Uh, so you can see a bunch of cards, see a bunch of things that's going on. So, I mean, they are very similar in, in many, many different ways. Both have a speech thing here. Cats are awesome. Here you go, some matching pictures. As you can see, this one with Google, they put, um, <laughs> they put up, um, like Google search results. Here you can actually search the web for it as well. We should probably get pretty similar, yeah. <clears throat> so they, they're very, very identical in, in that little way. Uh, also pretty fun here, if we open up a bunch of apps, let's just open up a couple. And I made a large folder here. Uh, let's just open up settings. Let's uh, open up a few more. Let's see here, uh, we can open up the clock. And now let's go into multitasking. And you can see how they are pretty similar here uh, in this like swiping thing. But what Apple has done is that they have made it, instead of swiping up and down, you have this side, side to side. Uh, but funny here how they kind of are very, very identical uh, compared to a lost uh, version of uh, iOS. I still do believe that it's iOS is a little bit more cool here because of the blur effect. So they kind of took this thing here and improved on it. But bo both doesn't have this close all thing. So that's very, very annoying. And it doesn't seem like you can close multiple things here in Android M, latest version of Android. Here I can just swipe away multiple things. I even believe you can swipe away four, five, six stuff at the same time. So that's kind of nice actually. So uh, you can also see here the kind of like uh, quick access to some toggles. Still so have it down here in, and uh, in iOS and here you have it up here. And uh, I mean, they are very identical, but here you have five, six, seven, one, two, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, nine things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I mean, kind of the same. You get one more here, uh, but they do about the same things uh, with the same kind of many similar features like a flashlight, which is something that a lot of people uh, like to have and uh, screen rotation there as well. Let's see where, where's that one portrait mode and yeah. And a quick, also of course, quick little brightness slider here. And if we go into settings to see the specific version, you can see here, here you can also have darker menus, which can be pretty cool. So as you can see here, Android M, and here iOS 9. And you don't get these kinds of Easter eggs inside of, uh, inside of iOS. You can also see on the lock screen look pretty identical, but uh, you have instead of just having a quick access to camera, you also have quick access to voice here. What are you doing? Quick access to voice here on uh, the uh, Android M version, so that can definitely be some nice things. You can also hold in here to 
have widgets and uh, change the wallpaper they're pretty faster uh, i definitely believe that ios needs to improve on that uh, to take advantage of things like that so you don't have to always go into settings and go deeper into the uh, system to just change one of those uh, things now i'm really not sure if you do have a power mode here uh to say battery but you do get that uh, in let's see battery yeah uh, but you do get that inside of the new ios that so you can go down to battery section here and you can have a low power mode and actually save battery get more batteries so maybe that's something that andrew needs in the stock version if i go into battery here i don't see an option like that maybe there is anywhere else but i don't think so uh, but yeah, just quickly a video here, checking it out uh, side by side. Let's see here how the power screen looks like as well. Yeah, very, very simple, basic on both, even with the stock version of Android. Uh, use one option here to power off the device. I definitely do believe the stock version of Android should have way more options, way more customizability and stuff like that, because that's just what uh, what Android usually is, um, is good at. So we want to take advantage of that. Uh, yeah, quickly a video checking that out side by side. Hopefully enjoyed and uh, have an awesome day. Peace.